a dress and a pound of flesh as collateral, and they'll do the rest. And uh, now we're going just down the road to Acton to say hello to some cavity wall insulation salesmen. Hello there. Hello, Sir Derek. Uh, I gather as a special stunt for us today, you and your colleagues have been wearing silly fancy dress costume. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, what have you been doing then? Well, we've been persuading various chronically disabled pensioners and uh, single parent families on fixed incomes to sign everything that's put in front of them. And so far we've notched up several credit schemes at punitive fixed term interest rates totaling £563,000! <laughs> Stuff. And now here's a rather moving report from a commercials director with a film school diploma in compassion and understanding. It's now five years since they closed down the steelworks here in Mordyke, throwing thousands on the social scrap heap. The conditions today, the poverty, are tragic. Some of these 13 year old school children may never know what it's like to direct their own documentary series for Channel 4. <laughs> For some, the prospects of running their own advertising agency before their 16th birthday are remote. <laughs> Resources at this soup kitchen are so pitiful that the priest in charge can't even afford proper tears in his jeans. Like many of his helpers, he has to make do with a pitifully unfashionable haircut. <laughs> but you can help. Just 75 pounds will buy a monogrammed cufflink for one of these homeless old bag people. Just 250 pounds will buy this crippled old lady a pair of Nino Cerruti skiing goggles. And just 1,000 pounds will buy a business lunch with a Lexi sale, provided you're on a diet. <laughs>